What's going on guys? Abrasus here and today we have a very very difficult episode for me from this series because we will talk about the, the army that I have used to love somebody that I've used to know or something in Fallout Wolves and I'm not really sure about about the, um, the position of the Infernal Dwarves now but I guess I will see what I can do with this. I've actually played recently a game against Infernal Dwarves and I was a bit surprised about some of their rules, so <laughs> it doesn't that it, it doesn't sound good for for the for, for this video, but let's hope that I will be able to manage something. So again, is there anything in this in this army that I really really want? I think I want a Titan that is a fighty Titan. I think the new burning ability is just crazy and the guys that don't have one ward against fire are are really are really really in a weird spot. I want a double infernal artillery. I think I want one mortar. I think I want a nafta thrower. Let me actually check uh what is the range of the nafta thrower? Twelve. Wow. And uh, so I would need this to have it on the gunnery team, right? And how does it work on the gunnery team? Well, so many changes in the Infernal Wolves book uh, that I really have to check all of this out now. Okay. War platform. Interesting. Interesting. Standard construct. War platform. Wow. Okay, I think it's it's actually an interesting idea to have this, uh, to have one of those war platforms, and to have this especially against the rats. It can march and shoot, so that's fine. And now let's let me take a look at the unit that I used to love which is Infernal Warriors with great weapons. Five points per week. Wow. Wow. You can probably afford one of those to be here together with this with this Nafta Thrower. I think that this is actually not a bad thing. 400, okay. That's fine-ish. The Nafta Thrower, mm, march, shoot and fight. Okay, fine. And I kind of want another. Do I want another motor or do I want uh, a rocket battery? Let me actually check. The rocket battery is just now strength 6 AP3, right? With the double range, so it's range 36. Strength 6 AP3. And how much is. Oh, why is this? Why is this only fires of industry four? I think it should be five, right? Two, two. Yeah, it should be five. So there is something wrong with the new recruit. Let me check how much the engine is actually with either of them. With rocket battery, it's 460 compared to 280. 180 points for being an engine. And have 18 inches range. Because hmm. I actually faced an engine like this. I faced a very similar setup recently. Huh. Engine. Okay, let's stick with the engine, but maybe I will downgrade it. Oh, and now it shows Fires of Industry 5. Great. I want, I don't want disciples. I want cadims. Do I want six? I think I kind of wish I only have four. I don't think that I need more. Mm, I want anointed. Uh, I actually think that five of them with the paired weapons is, is not a bad option. Yeah. 
Yeah, five of them with great with uh, with paired weapon is actually not a bad bad option probably. Um, although, how much would I pay for the shield? This is hundred points. Uh, this is hundred points more for shield infernal weapon war variant. Probably have I if I have such a big unit, and probably this is better. That would be my guess. Six oh eight. Also something to consider to have to have to have a smaller unit of. Um, I think I want flintlocks. I kind of want just two units of flintlocks or something. This is 400, 405. Wow, so if I take another unit of flintlocks, this is already <laughs> over the core limit. Okay, so let's not do that. Let's just bring levies uh, with bows and with banner of relentless and with musician, I guess. And then I can fill the rest of citadels. One point, Dame. That's rough. What can I do? How much are they? Nine points or something? Okay. Mm. That's very bad. <laughs> this one point is, is like really, really bad. Unfortunately, I don't think that you can put the gunnery team in the vassal levies. And also, I want to have... I want to have them as chaff, although chaff for freaking um, this point. Maybe I just maybe I just skip the bows on them. But how do I burn stuff then? Oh, I have to I have to have bows on them. Wow, this is pretty bad. <laughs> this is going much worse than expected. I am so rusty in building the list for infernal dwarves, and I'm so out of and I'm so out of meta for them because they are changing much faster than I would have liked. Mm. Maybe I don't need the regulars, especially if my special slot will be fighting. Maybe then I don't need the nafta thrower. Yeah, I think that, that the nafta thrower was just a quick dream that you have to forget about. And then like 15. Okay. And this looks much more okay, I guess. Uh, 33. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's call it okay and let's have a profit i think you can just have an easy backash because you have uh, he counts as fire of industry or or not anymore my gosh yeah he counts and i can help um no oh, now it will be five i can help an engine or uh, artillery. Master of Alchemy. And then Adept of Pyromancy somehow. What spells does Lamasu have? Flaming Swords, Deceptive Glamour. Okay, not the greatest, honestly, and also not the best model, so I think that I will stick with Master Alchemy, because I think I like the Master Alchemy aspect. And then I can use this tablet, but it's free or more dice. I don't think that I will ever, that I will ever go for it. I can take uh, Scepter of Power, because I like Scepter of Power. I kind of would like to have a um, Lugar dude on the Kadim Chariot with Adept, with Pyromancy, or Occultism. And let's take the Breath of the Brazen Bull and let's take the Great Weapon on him. Yeah, and the Chariot can... Doesn't it have it op options now to have... Oh, it just doesn't have any friends. Okay. Uh, this guy is the general, obviously. Wow, I ran out of points very quickly. Wow. 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 I might just want to have too much. I don't think that I need small bulls. That's the, that's the thing. Unless I just take like five small bulls. How much are five freaking small Taurus now? 
205, this is fucking, this is ridiculous. They are what? Uh, they, they are five points more expensive than, uh, than, the, than the wolves. This is, that's ridiculous and they are toughness fucking five. Okay, let me actually take five Taurican forces with this. And I don't think that I want this chariot then. Where, where is my BSB? Where is my BSB and where is my BSB going? That's the most important question. What is my BSB doing? I always like the Tauruk with the the big Tauruk with the with the option to have um, with the option to have Onyx Core, but an Onyx Core now doesn't make any sense. I think I need to cut corners here and there and have those just with Pergopons, but 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 I think that they, taking the Tauruk Commissioner as a BSB is actually not a bad idea. Um, I would need to give him, well, probably let's go with a stupid thing. So let's go with your destiny call, which sounds really weird on this guy, but let's go for like King Slayer, this, this thing. And now I have what, 30 points more. Do, can I do anything about this? Not really, right? I can go for obsidian rock. I don't know. Is he really worth it though? This is really expensive. I still have very little magic. How much is a uh, conjurer adept witchcraft on a wolf? It's 210. Okay. So he will be my backup chaff. Mm, and now Okay, this starts looking somewhat sensible, somewhat. But now the question, this, this, this Tower of Commissioner just doesn't make any sense. That's the problem. That's the problem. This Tower of Commissioner just doesn't make any sense. And I have alchemy, but I don't have many flaming attacks. So I would like to have like a flaming standard here or something. Okay, uh, what about a weird option? Vizier, that is Tauruk Ritual. That has a shield, BSB. And now he is, he is what? Now he is just free up because the Tauruk Ritual gives you nothing, right? It is just fast, dude. Can I make him one up? Um, in any in any freaking way, can I make him one up? Infantry models only. Does he count as infantry? Type is changed to beast. So not really, unfortunately. Do I want to invest in a BSB that is not in the Tower of Ritual um, setting? Because this is free up, right? I cannot take this. For some reason, they, they, they didn't take this into account. Because I wanted to make a Kingslayer guy here on... In Can I make Inf Infernal Weapon Kingslayer? Or I, or I can. Mm -hmm. But then the issue is that I don't have enough protection for him, right? I can't have like Willow's Ward. I can have like, I don't know, Lucky Charm and Five of Ward. Then I can have Basalt Infusion? No, I cannot. I would have to have Alchemist Alloy. Which is terrible. This is a bad idea. Bad idea. But I I really, really do hate having having a BSB that does nothing. Mm-hmm. 
Can I have a BSB that does something, please? Please, pretty please. I don't want to have a bull of Shamut. It just makes no sense. And I've tried to build as cheap Tower Commissioner as I could, right? Let me let me look at it again. Like BSB. Four up world save. Kingslayer. It's 435. Ridiculous. This is ridiculous. So I would need to have a BSB that's only a BSB here, right? You raise the flag. A fucking 165. Maybe that's not that fucking bad, honestly. <laughs> Can I give him anything? Just, 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 just anything. Please. They like, give him any purpose. Why would I why would I pick you? Tell me. Tell me dude. Why would I pick you? Is there any anything that that, that, that tells me that? That I want to pick you. I also don't have that okay, I have I have Kadims and I have Titan that have the new burning, so that's fine. You're flaming here. This is actually an interesting. How is this 215 like? Compared to Vassal Cuff, this is ridiculous. We have 150 points left. One forty. I can build as expensive Vizier on foot as I want. I can probably just take a Volcanic Embrace and the 4-up world save and be all fine, like, right? And if I pick a Flintlock Axe, then I cannot have... The Flintlock Axe makes me only strength um, 5. So I don't know, maybe I can pick... Or maybe I will just do it like this. And then... I can go for Blaze of Protection, right? And then I can go for like a lucky charm. And Ranger's Boots, Ranger's Boots. Because he is now one up thanks to all of that. Right? He is one up with D3 grinds with three attacks. Can also pick like a dragon stuff. Seven points too much. It's something that we can work with. Right? Hmm. So he is someone that will be preventing like a citadel gods or a prophet from from getting smashed in close combat. That's interesting. Will he protect them though? Well against some cowboys he will. Also, I maybe will have enough ranks to just hold it. We'll have some counter charges possible. I definitely have enough chaff in this list. I have levies, I have enforcers, and I have vassal conjurer. And I have places to hide the vassal conjurer, so I'm not really I'm not really afraid of him. Uh, losing and for witchcraft you don't need to see alchemy and witchcraft might be interesting option i just need to find the seven points so probably just need to get rid of lucky charm and like as far as i see if you don't hit me then you get then you get a slap back sounds good sounds fucking good sounds good yeah yeah He's not the best. I still, I'm, I'm not hu huge fan of this, of the hero setup, but I don't think it's bad. Uh, the question is whether the Naz Nazibekash part of the prophet will be used. If not, then maybe you can swap it to um, either the Ashuruk or to Lugar. Shamut doesn't bring much to the table unless you want to run the guy around, which was my idea at some point, but. 
don't think that it will work. Yeah, I think that let's take a look at the list as a whole. You have one monster, you have the four incarnates, five tower anointed, so you have a very solid scoring pot. Five scoring five scorings actually. Have decent shooting. Shooting, 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 shooting. It's decent ranged magic. And then yeah, yeah. I actually think that this list is okay. And Actually, against something like, I don't know, like the rats, dread elves, it should be very much fine. Yeah, I kind of like it. Okay, let me guys know what you think. Mm. Let me guys know what, what, what if, if you consider this list decent. I think I it was the most painful episode so far. Even the dwarves episode was not that painful because I didn't care about the dwarves uh, that much. I don't like dwarves, I hate them. Even I would say so. Yeah, I just don't care if if the list is good. Is that good? If I if I lose that much time, but here I do care because I love this army and it really pains me to see that it is pretty fucking bad in the sense of list building so far. But maybe that's just me. Uh, I will gladly listen to your thoughts on it. Anyways, guys, that will be it from me today. Uh, thank you very much and see you in the next episode. Cheers!